Morning Legends, we have a really fun game here. Obviously my team, the Cowboys, up against the Eels in the first of these two semi-finals. It's 30k guaranteed, so plenty of cash up for grabs. And if you'd like to sign up and play, jump in the description below, hit that sign up link, guys. Uh, and if you are playing normally, I wish you all the best of luck in this one. But outside backs, there's a couple of guys I'd look at that probably have a bit more consistency and at a cheaper price. And that would be Gutho, for example. I think that just under 12k, He's going to be someone that could be a bit of a game breaker for you in this one, um, and you won't have to break the bank for that one. Someone I find really interesting is going to be Peter Hiku, and he played obviously spectacularly last game against the Sharks. Ran, you know, ran for 300 meters basically there, and and did everything possible. My main worry is the effort, well, the the points that he ended up putting up in those uh, lots of games before, but last two he's really been on. So he's definitely an interesting one. I wouldn't be touching anyone else in this lower one. I think Talangi is a little bit too. Um, up and down on this one. Sivo, I think you can spend up on Penasini or Gutho and get a little bit more out of those guys. And then if you went right up top, obviously Drinkwater's got coming off 270s in a row. They did play Penrith the week before. It didn't matter. So coming off last week, he was completely involved, kicking the ball as well, uh, putting on assists and scoring himself. So Drinky is a good one there. Obviously that much more expensive price. You could probably go a bit cheaper and go for Val home. So Depending on how you want to go in halves and forwards, I really think there's some good options at the high price in the halves and, and hookers. And also the forwards, you would probably want to pick at least one of those top guys. So maybe you do go a bit cheaper in those outside backs. As we move to this section here, my two guys that I'm going to really push for are Mitch Moses and Chad Townsend. If you look at Mitch, you got 20 and a half thousand, a little bit cheaper than what Reese Robson uh, is there and he has that opportunity to go really really big so last week with obviously the 80 when they lost he still got the 45 so you just think the reason why i'm going for those two halves is they really take control of this type of game and if it's going to be a back and forth one then it's going to be plenty of kick meters and plenty for these guys to do you see chad here has a lower 41 in his last four and that game against the panthers he didn't have to control the game as much because there were so many points scored um, in that one so in this game here i'd say it'd be a little bit closer of a, of a game Really don't know which way it's going to go. I have a feeling that Eels are going to beat us, but I, you know, it might just be me being pessimistic. But him at 15,700, if you can get anywhere close to that 50 mark and above, then you're really winning out of that one. Obviously, Reedy's in there at 13K. It's just a little bit too up and down for me. I understand you know, that he's cheap enough to, to still score a 40 or 40 plus and, and be worth it. But what you're missing out on could be a 60, a 70, and 80 from these types of guys. Obviously, you got Robson here. Big tackle numbers, did really well last week, obviously there with the 70, but he is someone that can get that 40 or 50 pretty easily. So I think with a closer game, Mitch Moses will be the play in this one. If they were to get smashed, then he obviously won't score too well, but I just don't see that happening. Dylan Brown, solid one, but I'd rather spend up a little bit extra if it's gonna be a closer game. Brown, he can be a little bit more dominant if it is a little bit more of a blowout type of game there. Now, if you're looking at the forwards, I think Ruben Cotter's your man out of Papali'i or, or Ruben there. Big minutes he'll play. You saw that in the first game. He'll do it again here against the Eels to try and get them over the line, the Cows. And I think he's the, the first picked in my forwards in this one. So again, very hard to pick Cotter and also Moses. So you might have to go for a Chad and Cotter or you know, someone a bit cheaper. And, and Mitchy, for example, but you can work that out. Sean Lane's an interesting one because he's a lot cheaper than he was you know, a bunch of weeks ago when he was hitting 70s every week. So that couple of 40s and a 32 has really scared his price down, but a 58 last week was a big improvement to getting back where he needs to be. So he's a little bit of a risk at the moment just with how up and down he's been scoring, but still is a solid option for you. Madison's been much more consistent, but still has that 42 in him. 58 and the 60 last two weeks is obviously plenty to, to help you do really well. Interesting one here is Jason Tamalolo. So now that it's final time, he comes out and gets a 95, obviously scored a try, did a bunch of things right in that game. And can he play big minutes in this one? I think he needs to. With it being a major semi there, he and all the rest of the Cowboys guys have to step up, play bigger minutes, especially the more experienced guys like Jace, who has been super, you know, very much a superstar in 2015, 2017 through the finals as well. So Jace, an interesting one under 15K. If you have, that's all the money you have, then he's a great one to pick. Guys like Nanai and Lucy Lua, both solid, but I still think a little bit expensive when you can go for someone like Junior Paulo there, who has scored really, really well. So for last four games, lowest of 37, and he's a 12,950. So he's a solid one for sure in this game. And I just think him as well, stepping up, playing some bigger minutes over these last few weeks and really, really, really helping that team out. So he's a solid one. And then from there, there's guys like Oregon Confuci, Cohen Hess, that you can get around that 10,000 mark that could get you a 35 plus. 
you know, each every second or third week. So again, it's a little bit of a guess as to how it's going to play out. But they're probably the guys I'll be looking to play with in that one. You've got Nia Kore who gets sort of that 30 plus for you and he's under 10K. So he could be a sneaky one if you need to at that price if that's all the money that you have. But that is our first game of the week, guys. I wish you all the best of luck. Give me some love around the Cowboys. I would uh, appreciate the luck on that one. And we'll catch you in the next one, which will be going through the Panthers v. the Bunnies, which is going to be a super fun game. Good luck, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.